Right. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, this so is look. part two. Uh -uh. Got us a little rock bash. Got Jake, Jake, Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. I think we it's got a little challenge. Another fight. Right now. And what's the challenge? Look at that, y'all. Look at that. 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 Look the, the, whoever the, you said whoever the first person? The first bass and probably Ladies and gentlemen, we got, we got go. the anchor off, got we got the crate, we got nice and organized. Got another one, here we go. Let's get this work. Let's go. All, all right here up under these trees is like juicy spots. Not even gonna lie, juicy. Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We are in the room. Yeah, I'm standing up, moving around, walking around, doing a bunch of stuff. But today we are gonna do some upgrades to the room to make, to help make some great content. And I'm super excited about it. It's actually like, I like this. I did this on basically like a budget because I didn't want to, you know, spend too much money on this. And then I don't want it to be like too time consuming, but I wanted to make sure I uh, shared it with you guys and uh, all of that cool stuff. Uh, we got a lot of cleaning and organizing to do. And today, basically, we're gonna take all of the new tackle and all of that stuff from the MTB boxes, the Six Sense boxes, and just uh, all our unboxing, all the lures that we have. Obviously, the stuff is getting out of hand after you buy so much stuff. So now we gotta organize it and make it look beautiful in here because uh yeah it gets annoying after a while when you gotta literally pick up baits and all of that stuff and constantly organize stuff stuff is falling all over the place so today basically we're gonna be making a tackle wall and uh i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna do it i'm probably only gonna get like half of like what i want to do in this actual video and then you know we're gonna slowly um slowly keep upgrading probably quickly uh upgrade it like every once in a while and stuff we want, i want to do lights and all that stuff but let's just cut straight to the point um so so far i got this pegboard right here let's get that on the camera i got the pegboard right there and then i got a couple of two by oops we got a splinter here and i got a couple of uh two by fours and we gonna move all of this stuff over here this is like basically like my tackle wall already and then we got like the computer and all that stuff on this side and we gonna move all of this stuff over to this wall and then we're gonna take all this stuff and move it over to this wall and um, um all that cool stuff and um mount it up on the wall uh and we might even put like a part how we gonna put the um the rods and uh and all that stuff and all the combos we're gonna line all, all that all that stuff up basically i'm better at uh showing you guys and telling you guys what i'm gonna do so we're just gonna cut straight to it and uh and uh get this done and see how this come out i'm super excited about it and what we got to do first is we got to cut these two by two by fours exactly in half because it'll fit this because I believe this is like a uh it's a perfect square it's four inches all the way around so we're gonna go ahead split these uh two by fours in half and then we're gonna uh nail them to the pegboard and then uh clean all of this stuff up organize it up and then we got some pegs as well we got about uh 15 of these pegs as well and we're gonna uh get all of that stuff put together so i think the best my best option is probably cleaning first and moving all of this stuff we're gonna get into all the cutting and all that stuff i'm gonna put you guys in time lapse hopefully this time lapse uh works really well so we're gonna first we're gonna start on this side get all of this stuff organized and cleaned up a little bit and then we're gonna start moving it to that side and we're gonna take all of this stuff move it into the middle of the floor and then uh um, then start moving stuff around and you know getting getting the stuff done make sure if y'all new here make sure y'all uh hit that subscribe button and uh hit that notification bell and if you like the video make sure you like it 
And the reason why I say hit that notification bell because we got a new unboxing, we got a new Sixth Sense unboxing. And we also got some uh, apparel as well. Um, that's gonna be also in the uh, unboxing. And then, um, and then we got a new MTB box that also will be a video as well. Um, and make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram if you ever want to, uh, if you ever want to know what I'm up to, you know what I mean? Like, um, like today I did a whole story, uh, about like, you know, going to Lowe's and buying all of this stuff. And then like, uh, just basically what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing while I'm making these videos and stuff like that. I didn't really record while I was in Lowe's clearly because we're sitting in the room right now and not at Lowe's. But if you know, one of you guys want to check out, see what I'm doing, because sometimes you would catch me actually fishing on my Instagram and I, I post the uh, stuff on there. And then that, you know, that's basically me making my video and all of that stuff. Sometimes you catch me fishing. Sometimes you catch me shopping. Sometimes you, you know, you just never really know. So make sure you guys go follow my Instagram. The link will be down below. And also my Instagram is Bozeman underscore code, just like my YouTube name. So make sure you guys go follow me there as well. Now let's get to this video and get it started. Let's go. All right, so, so far we got everything cleaned up from this area table, still right here. And then uh, we gonna go ahead and start moving stuff. Go ahead and get this board, put in that area that we want it to be in. Let's see. Uh, I was thinking of maybe putting it like this. Put it sit right there and then put the rods over there. Or maybe I'll center it more. Put it right here. Yeah, I think this area should be good. Somewhere right here. I think I might just put it right here just because I know it's gonna fit perfect right there. Completely forgot to put this in time lapse, but yeah, so we got this little situation. I did this in the most laziest way possible. That's reason I didn't see stuff like that in here, but this is what we got now. We're gonna hang it up on the wall and uh, hope to see this come out very well. Probably gonna flip it too. And then we're just gonna put two screws, level it out, and uh, see see how this thing goes. I'm gonna put you guys in time lapse actually this time of me hanging this thing up. And uh, yeah, let's figure this out. We got this. So some of these areas, like I think in like this little area right here, I hang up like um, my retired baits that I ain't, you know, I used them, um, caught fish on them and um, all that stuff. And I'm gonna just retire them up here in this corner. And then I'm gonna put down here on the short ones, I'm gonna put my crankbaits that are still in the package and those, um, or my hard baits over here and all my soft plastics I'm go over here. And I could probably, I wanted to go like super high, like up there, but I think I'm gonna do something different to where I can like rest like mystery tackle boxes and uh, put some, maybe put some sacks, some six, six, six cent sacks up there and stuff. And then we got all this stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is, so basically when I put these on, I can figure out uh, like the, how wide they are how close they gonna be by putting these on there. Hopefully these balls on the tip of these pigs aren't too, too wide. Oh no, that's perfect. They, they gonna stretch a little bit, but they gonna go on there. So we got zoom baits and all that stuff. We might organize them by color 
or just by brand maybe probably color because that would just be like the best thing because I have multiple all I still got my unboxing hat on I think I'm gonna just keep it on for the rest of the video yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do so hard base soft plastic soft plastic is gonna probably go all the way down to here and the hard base probably gonna go all the way down to here then the retired base are gonna all be in this corner right here I don't have too many retired base so it shouldn't be too many that can fit in that that uh, box over there. And then, you know, we be just like this. Woo, woo, woo. Bam, bam, boo. So I'm probably going to end up needing some more of these pigs. We're going to figure that out after we hang these baits up. So let's go ahead, go back to the time lapse. We're going to hang these baits up. Let's get it. Or I might just cut it and go straight to it. So we're going to figure it out. Is it going to be a, a, a time lapse? We're going to cut straight through it. <laughs> So yeah, now we got mostly all our baits up there. Um, we even got hard baits over here. We got our six cents. Then we got our Guggen over here in the corner. All that stuff. And then you see our 10,000 fish up there. We also got, remember we had did this unboxing on this taco box. I forgot I had some more stuff in here. I even put the scout up there too. And I got that uh, grande banger up there as well. And I got that flat banger up there. We looking prime time, baby. Looking like a real tackle wall. A lot of this stuff, all as you can see right here, like this is the, the thickest one because that's when, that one's got all of the, um, would you stop? Wow, stop. That's nothing to play with. Oh, that didn't scare you. I got a cat named Smokey. He's a complete BA. Um, but yeah, so that one's thick because we got a bunch of craw and stuff. And then we got this mystery tackle box. So we're gonna put this one up here with that. Like so. And then we're gonna put our bio spines up there. The plasma tails, we gonna put, we gonna put those, doesn't even look good right there, but we gonna put them right there because it's a plastic box and I got like a bunch of plastic boxes on this one. I believe that's the way, then we got some hooks, got these hooks right here. So I think I'm gonna still, it's cool to have them up there, but it'd be nice to keep them in here so when we do these challenges in the springtime, we can actually still have them in the box. So we're probably gonna save the boxes. Most people that get mystery tackle box, they end up saving the box, so. But look, right? So this wall literally cost me $35, $35 exact, right? So I got 15 of these pegs. I got this whole piece already cut for 10, for 10.90 so 11 bucks and then i got the two it's either the two by two no it's, i think it's the four by twos might be four by twos or two by fours oh yeah it's four by two so i got the four by twos that is framed on the back of it as y'all seen earlier in the video got those framed up on the back of it and then oh uh, we got we are already had screws and stuff like that so we didn't have to pay for no screws and all of that stuff. Uh, didn't have to pay for a saw because we already had a saw. I used a knife for a second just because like, I just didn't want to go outside in the cold and grab my saw. But as y'all can see, this is what you, this is how, 35 bucks. You can either spend 35 bucks and do it this cheap and make it look really good. Or you can spend like 110 bucks and get an extremely nice one with paint and the uh, cool finish and all that stuff. Like the brown, to be honest, ugh, you can easily paint this. 
I might over summertime when it gets warmer outside and the paint will actually um, dry really well. When the springtime and summertime come, probably springtime, right when the springtime hits, I'm gonna take this bad boy down and I'm gonna paint it whatever color I want. And I had this crazy idea to actually paint a, a Michigan State logo on it and paint this whole thing green. Or we might paint the Bozeman Co. logo on on this and then have it that way. So leave, <laughs> leave a comment, tell me what you think I should do. Should I put a college team as the background, as the pegboard, or should I put the logo of the channel as the backboard? And then I probably put, some, I wanna put some lights on here too. Get off my TV, man. This cat is crazy. But look, we got this. We got our tubes over here. We got our worms, we got our swim worms, we got our uh, um, our trick worms, finesse worms, shaky worms, and all that stuff over here. We got our flukes and um, fish style baits over here. We got our worm style baits right here. So this honestly, this probably should go over here. This is our worm style baits. Then we got our swim baits and all that stuff right here. Also got this swim bait up here. We got our 10,000 fish baits up here. We got um, we got our power baits up here, and then every type of crawl you can think of, right here on this one. We got Googan up there. We got a uh, browser at Missile. We got um, Rage Rage Tails. We got power baits again. I think we got some yums. We got those clearance yums that we got from Walmart the other day up there as well. Um. You were freaking me out. Like, you need to really get down. Oh my God. Stop. Damn. So, this is my cat. He is literally obsessed with me. Like, he sleeps with me. He follows me everywhere. If I had him out there in the living room with the girls and stuff, he would be at that door screaming all the time. That's the reason why he's here. So, but, anyways. Um, just do not claw me like crazy hard. Look at him. He's sitting there literally cuddling. He's the most clingiest cat I've ever met. And he's got, and he's got five, uh, toes <laughs> on all four, his, all four of his feet. You okay? Want to get down? But yeah, so I got the 10,000 fish baits. I got some more cool stuff coming in the mail for... 10,000 fish. Y'all might even heard about y'all might even know what I'm talking about, but yeah, we got, we got, I think I'm going to do a whole hanger for all my 10,000 uh, fish baits because they're just so beautiful. Um, and then we got our power baits right behind them there. And then we have our retired baits up here. So I'll probably do a video. Uh, my next unboxing, I'll probably explain those baits probably like around the end of the video or something like that or before it starts i explain like what all of those um why all of those baits are being retired some of them are retired just because i've never caught stuff on them and some of them i caught my pbs on uh leave it in the comment on which one you think i got my pb on do you think it was this one this one this one this one this one this one or this one Y'all leave it in the comments. Tell me which ones y'all think I got my PB on. So yeah, we got those over there. We got even got some line up here. Got a squeaky voice right now. I got some line up there as well. Again, six cents baits. We got our Guggen hard baits and all of this, all of this hanging up right here. Besides this frog, this frog could actually go somewhere else. But this is like all the ice fishing and crappie and bluegill baits right there we got those hanging up and all of that cool stuff as well and then we got we also got um uh, camera can't get down there but we also got um this um dresser amanda got from uh work not dresser a display uh she got from work and she brought that home and i've actually been using that so as, as y'all can see down there that is all of the that is all of the giveaway stuff down there and then we got the new um 
new content, new stuff coming up. We even got a big box from six down there as well. And then we got all our, all our tools and stuff that we use while we out on the water up there at the top. And then we got our soft plastic box all the way down there. That's got all of the soft plastics that didn't get hung up because of them, you know, the, the holes on them, like breaking and stuff. We got those down there. Then we got our mystery tackle boxes, saving those. We probably end up moving those to a different area because I'm pretty sure they're going to end up piling up over time. And then we got our uh, trays, terminal tackle. We got our, um, our grab and go, uh, tray up here as well. Um, and then we got some more, this, this is also, this also goes with this, but the, this box right here is, a uh, some more content that's going to be coming as well. I'll put this down here. And then back here, we got these, uh, our soft plastics that, uh, just got ripped off of the hooks and we end up, you know, after like changing over to different baits, we end up putting them in there. And then we got line down there as well. Then we got our poles. As I can see, this was a display right here. I haven't yet taken that off. And then we got more poles over here in the box. And then we also got our auger sitting over there as well. So yeah, leave it in the comments on uh, what y'all think, which one y'all think I caught my PB on up there. And then leave it a, another thing I want y'all to leave it in the comments. If y'all want me to do like uh, a tackle, like basically I'm gonna just show y'all like all the tackle that I have and stuff like that. And y'all um, tell me what, um, tell me if y'all want me to do like a, a video on like all of the baits and stuff that I have uh, in those trays down there and stuff. If y'all want to see that, if y'all into that, all that cool stuff. If y'all want to see that, I'll most definitely do it. Just make sure y'all leave it in the comment, comments and all that stuff. And make sure y'all just leave a comment, period. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all... You know, if you want to enter to be the next comment of the day, make sure y'all leave those comments, those positive comments. Any comment, really, as long as it's a good, positive comment, it'll enter you into be the next comment of the day. You know what I mean? We always do the comment of the day. And again, when I first started this video, I didn't say, oh, this is the comment of the day. So uh, in the beginning of the video, I put the make sure I put the comment of the day up uh, down below. Uh, make sure y'all hit these links up here that pop up up here so y'all can see other unboxings. If y'all knew, haven't seen my unboxings, uh, make sure y'all put those, uh, hit those links up there so y'all can check out other unboxings and also fishing trips. So on this channel, we also, we do fishing, unboxing, unboxings, reviews, all that stuff on all um, uh, fishing gear and all of that stuff. I'm thinking Smokey wants to leave now. So yeah, um, oh yeah, then we got our, look at them six cents shaky worms. We got the bad boys up there. I cannot wait to do the next unboxing. So right after I finish this video right here, we gonna um, probably crack into those, uh, the next uh, six cents unboxing. We got a big box, we got a, a six cents sack. We got some merchandise. We got some new baits and all that stuff. We also got some more, I might, I don't know, I kind of wanted to wait because I also got some more uh, baits from um, Six Cents. A uh, subscriber commented and told me you should try these baits out. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is, what they is, but your boy, uh, your boy told me, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pro possibly wait and probably just do the mystery tackle box because we are going on an ice fishing trip here soon. So the mystery tackle box is the. The uh, next thing, we got the brand new one right here. Um, and this is the ice fishing box. So make sure y'all hitting those notification bells so y'all don't miss out on this unboxing. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got in here. We got some pretty neat, nifty, cool, beautiful stuff inside of this um, mystery tackle box. And it is, it is a lot of stuff in here too. A lot of stuff that's gonna come in handy for when we go ice fishing here either tomorrow morning or I don't know what time it is right now. I don't have a clock on me, but if it ain't too late, we might even go today. So, uh, yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for this. And then I also, whoo, 
I also got some new uh, glide bait, so make sure just make sure y'all stay in tune. I'm not gonna make this video too darn long. I hope y'all like the video. Make sure y'all hit that like button if you did. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on some great content. And uh, and I think that is the end of the video. So thank you for watching. I love the views and I, I love the support that I'm having from my subscribers so far. You all are amazing. You are amazing for watching this video and supporting. And if you really wanna support, make sure y'all hit that share button and uh, share this video to everybody you know, okay? Make sure you subscribe so you can enter into win the giveaway prize, okay? Yes, sir. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.